Hello and welcome to How to Play Go, presented by GatherTogetherGames.com. This video will cover how to play the board game Go. The video will start with the general concepts and gameplay, and then get into more of the details for the game. The game is played with two players. To play, you will need a Go game set. The Go game is played on a grid board. The board size is usually 19 lines by 19 lines, but can be adjusted for player ability. This beginner tutorial will use a 9 by 9 board. One player will play the black markers, the other player will play the white markers. The object of the game is to control more of the board than your opponent by enclosing areas on the board with your markers and by capturing your opponent's markers. These objectives will be covered more later in the video. On a turn, players will play one of their markers on an intersection on the board. An intersection on the board is any point where two lines meet. On this 9x9 nine nine board, there are 81 intersections. The player of the black markers is the first to take a turn. Black plays a marker on the board. After the marker is placed, play moves to white. White plays a marker on the board. Players continue to take turns playing markers. The first term to know is liberties. An open intersection connected to a marker on the board is known as a liberty. Here, the marker has four liberties. Here, the marker has three liberties. Here, the marker has two liberties. The next term to know is unit. Markers of the same color that are connected are known as a unit. A unit will share liberties. Here, the unit of two markers has six liberties. The unit of three markers has seven liberties. The next term to know is capture. When a unit's liberties are all occupied by opponent markers, the surrounded markers are captured. Here, white markers occupy all of the black markers' liberties and is captured. Here, white markers occupy all the black unit's liberties and is captured. The game ends when both players are unable to gain more control of the board or are unable to capture more of their opponent's markers. To signal the end of a game, players will pass a marker to their opponent. Here, black passes a marker to white and white follows by passing a marker to black. After two consecutive passes, the game is over. Players will score the amount of open intersections they have enclosed minus any markers that were captured by their opponent. Here, black scores for 28 open intersections minus two for the captured black markers for a total of 26. White scores for 15 open intersections minus two for the captured white markers for a total of 13. Because black gets an advantage for getting to play first in the game, white gets compensated for going second. The amount should be agreed upon before the start of the game. For this game, the compensated amount is 6.5. This is added to white's final score. Black wins the game by 6.5 points. A player cannot make a play that repeats the prior position of markers on the entire board. For example, white captures a black marker here. Black is not allowed to play a marker back on the board to capture the white marker as this would bring the game back to the prior positions. Black must play elsewhere on the board before capturing white's marker on another turn if still possible. That wraps up how to play Go. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and find more game tutorials by subscribing to the channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.